It's your boy Indian Guru in the house back with another bang on transfer news videos all about Arsenal stuff. Well, uh, today's we have a hell lot of news. Uh, well, Josh Kroenke has finally spoken up. Unai Emery has actually given the answer what Arsenal fans were thinking, but they're also thinking whether that can that plan can actually materialize or are those plans only talks? We'll come to know when this uh, transfer window will end on August 8th. But nonetheless, we are all ready with the greatest news of all time. Well, if you still haven't subscribed to this channel, subscribe to this channel, my friend. This channel actually provides you daily stuff about Arsenal and all the Gunnar stuff that you can actually wish for that a, a channel provides you on a daily basis. And, and hit that bell icon so you get notified whenever I post a video on YouTube. And make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post daily. And if you're an Arsenal fan, if you don't support your club openly, this is the right time. This is the right era to do it right now. So let's go on with the video. Roy Hodgson has actually spoken out finally about Arsenal's link up with Crystal Palace. He has mentioned that Arsenal has not yet uh, met the valuation of Wilfred Zaha and hence uh, no uh, agreement has been reached yet. Arsenal need to match whatever Crystal Palace are asking and it would be a no-brainer for Crystal Palace to let their main man go. That's exactly happened when they let Aaron Van Bissaka leave for Manchester United. He has, he has said that when Manchester United came calling and uh, a big club comes to you and it is paying exactly the valuation what uh, the club as a Crystal Palace is uh, asking for, you can only wish uh, your player all the best for the future. And that is exactly what they are looking for in Wilfred Zaha as well. They have, pre uh, they have put up a valuation of 80 million. So if they get 80 million, Wilfred Zaha can kiss goodbye to Crystal Palace and head wherever, whichever club pays that much amount. Uh, of money so those are the news about crystal palace let's head to the next news barcelona have actually uh, kept uh, the selling price of malcolm signed him for 36.5 million pounds but do you know what is the valuation what is the price set by barcelona 60 fucking million yes barcelona have set up 60 million they will ask 60 million for any club who is looking to sign malcolm are you crazy Barcelona, are you guys crazy to value that much? There were talks going around that Barcelona would only ask exactly the same amount of money that they paid Bordeaux. But it turns out they're seeking almost 1.75 times the amount of money that they paid for Malcolm. It does not make any sense because uh, I think that's too much high of a valuation for a winger. Well, if any club is looking for a good winger, they can get a very nice a compact winger that means you're valuing him exactly as where Riyad Mahrez was bought by Manchester City and I believe Riyad Mahrez is more quality than Malcolm how the hell did they even think of uh, you know going for 60 million valuation something is really nuts in that uh, Barcelona uh, management that have uh, set a price tag of 60 million for Malcolm Arsenal will not buy him bye bye let's go to the next news Finally, William Saliba has actually agreed upon to go to Arsenal and have snubbed Tottenham Hotspurs. William Saliba has mentioned that he would like to go to Arsenal and won't like to go to Tottenham Hotspurs. And we also came to know that Tottenham have actually tried to hijack the deal of Arsenal and uh, have even uh, changed the terms of the bid. But it turns out that finally the whole bid is being explained. Arsenal will pay 33 million euros plus 7 million euros in add-ons. Well, uh, if uh, William Saliba actually reaches uh, certain milestones and nonetheless, San Chachin have put up a 20% sell-on fee that means if arsenal sell saliba in the future 20 percent of that amount will go to santachi and well clever very much clever and arsenal will sign him for five year contract out of which one year will be on loan at santachi and so this is really really uh, cool i think arsenal are looking for the future they are uh, you know their present targets are different these are the future targets so uh, let's go on with the further news Everton Soares, well, Arsenal have agreed upon a fee of 36 million pounds to uh, with Gremio to sign Everton Soares Sebalino. Well, Arsenal are actually poised to sign the winger, the Gremio winger who has scored three goals, provided two assists in his six appearance in uh, Copa America for Brazil and has been superb. He will have his medical. As I had mentioned that Arsenal's physicians have travelled to Brazil so that a medical is uh, placed and they check 
the physical condition of the player whether he can play the Premier League or not for them well subject to medical well uh, as soon as any further news comes in this exciting uh, prospect Everton Soares please stay tuned to this channel I keep posting this stuff so you'll come to know more on Everton Soares when the deal will get signed when is the confirmation so let's go on with the next news Josh Kroenke finally has opened his mouth, spoken more about Arsenal. Well, it turns out that Football.London has spoken with Josh Kroenke. Nonetheless, Josh Kroenke has mentioned that no, they believe that Arsenal have a Champions League budget on a Europa League uh, situation. Well, their whole expenses and whole budget is of a Europa League team, but their wages are actually at a Champions League bill. So it turns out that for Arsenal, Champions League is a must well and Arsenal are looking to win the silverware but he also knows that this is a change of an era so uh, in the in this season uh, you, you cannot expect Arsenal to win, win anything but to qualify for the Champions League that's a basic requirement from Unai Emery uh, from this uh, season well just Ronke believes that uh, he it is not about uh, the money it is not about the investment that they are not planning to invest in the club but it is such a situation that uh, he and his father Stan believe that Arsenal uh, is an institution where uh, you know uh, it will take little time since we move on in, into a different era it will take little time it will take its own time and they have believed that it's a process which will take years and they are actually thinking more about the future as well so the current a uh, lot whatever happens in the transfer market they are very much interested in improving Arsenal well none of which answers the question whether will he uh, whether will he invest a uh, hell lot of money in Arsenal but nonetheless I think Josh Kroenke uh, has spoken quite in support of Arsenal fans and I believe not much Arsenal fans are actually uh, smitten by it they want Josh Kroenke to show in his actions rather than just speaking so I'll, I'd like to see what, I, what actually happens till August 4th because next news is really really exciting to all the Arsenal fans whether you like it or not but you'll definitely love it you actually need to know what Unai Emery spoke after the Colorado Rapids game let's go on with the next news Unai Emery has finally spoken well after the uh, Colorado Rapids game against uh, Arsenal Arsenal destroyed them Unai Emery has spoken about the future of the club well what he has mentioned that uh, we are being very very demanding and we are uh, first speaking about the possibility to sign very very big very expensive players yes that means they are also targeting three or four players to sign before the end of this summer transfer window yes Arsenal and Unai Emery has mentioned whatever his targets are to the Cronkies and to the hierarchy that he wants these kind of players he wants specific players who are actually expensive in the market and Arsenal need to shell out only if the primary targets are not met the secondary targets will be looked after but an improvement is about to happen and Arsenal fans need to actually calm down that's exactly what he's mentioned also when asked about what why the hell do you want Danny Ceballos when everyone spoke about uh, Danny Ceballos to Unai Emery Unai Emery has mentioned that I cannot speak of any player I cannot name any player and I cannot speak of any uh, player by taking his name but Danny Ceballos is a very good player you know when a manager is uh, speaks something like that it clearly means that yes they are very much interested and probably not signing him completely if not at least what is the speculations are, uh, are uh, to be believed about Danny Ceballos comes on loan at Arsenal well uh, also one biggest news of the day Danny Ceballos will choose Arsenal instead of Spurs because he will get more game time at Arsenal than Tottenham Hotspurs. Well, that is exactly what his words are. And I also believe that Danis Ceballos should come to Arsenal. Because I know uh, we have become a club where we are not getting Champions League. This is the third consecutive year where we are not getting the Champions League football. And uh, true, we, our wage bill is too high. Uh, since if we don't play Champions League football, we don't get that much amount of sponsorship. We don't get that much amount of money. Even after winning certain games uh, in the group stages. So Champions League budget is something different. Where club owns more and more. You know, the money comes more in the club. So you need to understand those things as well. So uh, this was the news. Unai Emery is very much positive that they are demanding for very expensive players who can actually help them to uh, achieve certain silverware targets 
that uh, Josh Ronke and uh, his father has put forth to Unai Emery and, not, uh, and nonetheless many new players are, li are being linked with well watch this space watch this channel the Indian Gooner and subscribe to this channel Indian Gooner because Indian Gooner comes daily to you to provide his uh, news and analysis about new Arsenal players signings new Arsenal players that are actually linked with Arsenal and new Arsenal players that can improve Arsenal in the new era that is the Unai Emery era so what you have to do very simple very simple if you're an Arsenal fan if you're interested in knowing all about Arsenal subscribe to this channel hit the bell icon wait for me till I post a video so you get notifications okay cheers